Thank you, and Subantu, it's really good to uh, see you in such a spectacular outfit. Uh, your smile always dazzles when you wear something that contrasts so nicely. If there's one person around who's had his hands full for the last five, ten years, it's Subantu, and uh, we appreciate the way you keep on going, keep fighting, keep our white paper hopes alive. We can't afford to let that drop. But in South Africa, we are on a major shipping route. We have over six, seven hundred ships a day. One million tons of oil passing our coast every day. Up in Mozambique, they've just found one of the biggest gas farms in the last 25 years, which will equate to Qatar. So if we look at the Moss Gas project as a factor of one, Mozambique is 295 times bigger than Moss Gas. So we know that somewhere off our coast, there is gas and oil. We just have to go and find it, so it's there. But the opportunities are coming. ENI Saipem and some of the fabrication operators for Mozambique are now changing their focus from China for fabrication to South Africa. So there's going to be about four to six years of fabrication starting up for modules, accommodation modules, uh, jack-up pl platforms, etc., etc. And they say that there's going to be four to six hundred vessels of Mossel Bay, uh, of um, Pemba, Palmer, in the next five years. So if they can see the growth and the impact it's going to have in, in Mozambique, then the potential is right here. We have the education facilities right down from the high schools to the post, uh, the, the tertiary education. We have passionate people in the right departments, um, a new DDG. So we like your support, thank you. And uh, as Mandela left 30 years ago, when he walked on that long walk to freedom, he said, listen, it always appears to be impossible until it's done. So even if we have these challenges, let's not give up. I mean, we make a plan, we're going to take them on, and it's going to happen. So one step at a time is not going to be easy, but no one said it will be easy. But we have a beautiful part of the world. I mean, look at this location. 90% of the people around here are not from South Africa. So we need them to bring their foreign currencies, and we need to expand on this. And, and uh, it's a really beautiful part of the world with a wonderful, multicultural, beautiful bunch of people that we are happy and um, privileged to work with. So Subantu, we need your leadership. We need the support that you have. And with the industry and people like you, it's going to happen. So thank you very much.